The Vanderbilt Beach Road Extension Project from Collier Boulevard, County Road 951, to 16th Street Northeast is currently at the 60% design stage. The purpose of this presentation is to provide the project overview and the proposed improvements included in the 60% design plans, as well as the anticipated project schedule for the completion of the design and expected construction. This project is located in Collier County, east of I-75 and the city of Naples. In 2006, Collier County completed the Vanderbilt Beach Road Extension Corridor Study and made recommendations for the 10-mile segment from Collier Boulevard to DeSoto Boulevard for an ultimate six-lane facility based on future traffic needs. This project was in design development until the onset of the economic recession of 2008. The design was reinitiated in 2018 and, since then, Collier County has held two public information meetings to gain public input on the potential design concept. This presentation presents the 60% design plans for this project from Collier Boulevard to 16th Street Northeast, approximately 7 miles. The project goals, shown here, include improving capacity, safety, and emergency access while minimizing and or avoiding environmental impacts to the surrounding community. The current design includes proposed improvements to Massey Street and to the existing intersections at Weber Boulevard, Danbury Boulevard, and Douglas Street. To enhance traffic operations and safety conditions, new signalized intersections are proposed at Wilson Boulevard, 8th Street Northeast, and 16th Street Northeast. In addition, the design includes a potential canal relocation, stormwater management ponds, three new canal bridges with wildlife crossings, and wildlife fencing where appropriate. The proposed improvements include a new divided roadway with pedestrian and bicycle facilities and introduces a raised median. From east of Collier Boulevard to the Curry Canal, the extension is proposed with six lanes. A 10-foot pathway is provided on the north side of the roadway. From Curry Canal to east of Wilson Boulevard, the extension is proposed with four lanes, expandable to six lanes when needed. From Wilson Boulevard to 16th Street Northeast, the extension is proposed with two lanes, expandable to six lanes when needed. The proposed improvements along Massey Street began at Vanderbilt Beach Road Extension to the roundabout at Tree Farm Road. The existing Massey Street is approximately 18 feet wide today. The proposed improvements include a two-lane facility with closed drainage, curb and gutter, and a pathway. Now let's review the proposed improvements in the 60% design plans. The existing Vanderbilt Beach Road is a two-lane undivided roadway with a canal to the south. The next few slides show the potential changes to the existing access as the extension of Vanderbilt Beach Road introduces a raised median. Existing driveways will remain and will allow for right-in, right-out access to Vanderbilt Beach Road. To enhance traffic operations and safety, openings in the median allow for directional left-turn movements and U-turns. Proposed stormwater pond locations are also shown. The proposed improvements begin west of the existing Vanderbilt Beach Road and Collier Boulevard intersection, which is signalized. Access to the St. Agnes Catholic Church property will allow for right-in, right-out turns only. Accommodations for U-turns at Collier Boulevard, Danbury Boulevard, and two directional median openings will be included. As we continue east along Vanderbilt Beach Road, a directional median opening is provided at Massey Street and Douglas Street. An access road is proposed north of Vanderbilt Beach Road to provide access to the properties on the north side. Also, the realignment of the Cypress Canal begins in this location. Plans call for a potential canal relocation south of the roadway from 31st Street Northwest to 15th Street Northwest. Continuing east along Vanderbilt Beach Road, a directional median opening is provided at the Greyhawk entrance. Access to Greyhawk Trail will allow for right-in, right-out turns only. A left turn will be allowed from eastbound Vanderbilt Beach Road onto Greyhawk Trail. Accommodations for U-turns will be included. Continuing east along Vanderbilt Beach Road, a directional median opening is provided. Also, the realignment of the Cypress Canal ends at this location. The six-lane section transitions to four lanes in this section near Curry Canal. Access to future land uses will be accommodated when needed. 
East of Curry Canal, the Vanderbilt Beach Road extension is four lanes until just east of Wilson Boulevard, which will be a signalized intersection. East of Wilson Boulevard, the Vanderbilt Beach Road extension transitions to two lanes. The Vanderbilt Beach Road extension continues east with two lanes to the proposed signalized intersection at 8th Street Northeast. The Vanderbilt Beach Road extension continues east with two lanes over the Orange Tree Canal to the proposed signalized intersection at 16th Street Northeast, where the project ends. The design includes a comprehensive study of the environmental issues. As part of the design project, environmental surveys were performed to determine the potential effect of the proposed improvements and the appropriate permits and mitigation if needed. In addition to local government agencies, the project has been coordinated with stakeholders in the region and with regulatory agencies. The design is anticipated to be completed in mid-2021. The next phases of the project development consist of right-of-way acquisition and construction. The latest project schedule includes construction starting in late 2021. For more information about the project, the 60% design plans and other documents are available for public review on the project website at www.colliercountyfl.gov slash transportation projects. We welcome your comments. There are three ways you can make a comment. You may submit an email to growth.management at colliercountyfl.gov or you may mail a written comment to Collier County Growth Management Department 2885 South Horseshoe Drive, Naples, Florida, 34104. You may also attend the Public Information Meeting Open House and fill out a comment form. The Public Information Meeting will be held on Tuesday, November 17, 2020 at the University of Florida IFAS Extension Office Multipurpose Room at 14700 Immokalee Road, Naples, Florida, 34120. The meeting will be in open house format from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. All of the materials on display at the public meeting will be made available on the project website. To comply with social distancing guidelines due to COVID-19, a limited number of people will be able to enter the meeting room at one time, approximately 30 people. We're asking community members to sign up for a specific time by visiting this web link shown here, which you can also access from the project website and the project newsletter. You may also contact the Collier County Growth Management Department at 239-252-8192 by 8 a.m. on November 17, 2020. That is the cutoff time for registering. We also ask that you submit your comments by December 1, 2020. This concludes our presentation.